So anytime we connect to, to spirit, anytime we connect to spirit, I find it is super important to anchor and ground into earth. Um, one of the things that I have learned over my many years of working with um, magic creators, creatrixes, um, spiritual beings, is that oftentimes we're so focused on up that we become disconnected um, to and unrooted. So anytime that I do work with above, I like to make sure it is fully anchored and grounded because we are not just, I mean, yes, we're spiritual beings, but we are not on a different dimension, right? We are actually manifested in this reality. So we're here for a reason. And I like to anchor us into this reality, right? So that's why we're doing this today. So I'm going to set up ceremony. I'm going to set up offerings for the earth and the land. So I encourage you guys to get connected. If this is your first time ever joining me for healing, I know we had a lot of new people yesterday. Um, stay with me, fire. Stay with me. Wind loves me today. Uh, if this is your first time, I encourage you to begin introducing yourself to the land you've been called to. So whatever land you currently are sitting on. Um, I know one of the dear souls that um, is part of this community is actually a flight attendant. This is a good example. While I try to light this, I love the wind. The wind and my fire don't always love me. There we go. Um, so she is a flight attendant, and so she is often in the air. She's in the air right now, um, but she's often in different countries. And um, I had told her recently. I said, "Did you ever think about the fact that both lands?" have called to you then? Everything about that? So, set up our offering to the earth. And I have some food over here as well for the earth, the land and for the spirits of the land. And I'm doing this not just for me, but for you all as well. Giving offerings because the land and the spirits this morning were like, listen here, lady. <laughs> We want offerings. <laughs> okay, so I invite you now, make sure I'm not missing any comments before we get started. Hello, Rose. Is it Elodie? Am I saying that right? Hello, welcome. Welcome, Francesca. Welcome, Sean. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Okay, so one of the things that is very important to me. Bear with my nose too, my sniffling. Um, <laughs> clearing a lot through my nose. Okay, so we're gonna get started. If you are watching on the replay, welcome. If I sneeze, I apologize. <laughs> I find that sometimes when I do big energy clearings or just I'm shifting energy, my allergies act up and doesn't seem to matter. It's just, I think, the way my body clears because I'm not a big water person. I'm trying. I'm trying. The water and I don't have a good relationship. It's a work in progress. So, I'm a real person. I'm going to take my glasses off, too. So, let's ground from my little pullout today. My crystal bowls are upstairs getting ready for Rooted to Rise. It starts this week, so since we're outside for this one. I'm a little bowl. I invite you now to sink into the land that you're sitting on. Allowing yourself to connect. It's ground two. So in Divine Living Light, we're going to call in and welcome in the energy of black tourmaline to really anchor and ground us. And the light theater changer.
breathing here. We ask permissions and blessings of the very land that we sit. I honor and give gratitude to the land once called Pentucket, land of the winding river. ask permissions and blessings and we all ask permissions and blessings from the original wisdom keepers the original land stewards of this land checking in listening for that yes and respecting that if a no comes today, you can ask, in what way can I come into right relationship with you? I'm gonna take this off. I'm not gonna get too far. I wanna make sure you guys can hear me, right? Everybody's good? Perfect, yes, okay. Okay. So let's begin. Let's set our sacred space now. coming into your breath, coming into your heart. I ask you permission to connect as a sovereign being. We also now call to earth, all guides, guardians, and beings of earth to support the highest good of all. We ask permissions and we ask for your blessings. We call to air. All guides, guardians, and beings of air, we ask permissions and blessings for those who support the highest good of all. We call to fire, all guides, guardians, and beings of fire who support the highest good of all. We ask permissions and blessings. We call to water, all guides, guardians, and beings of water that support the highest good of all. We ask permissions and blessings. The sacred space of below, we call to all wisdom keepers of all time and all space, all the original medicine, wisdom, lineage keepers. We ask permissions and your blessings, and we call to our roots, our lineage, our ancestors, those that support the highest good of all, that are healed and are here to support us. We ask your blessings, and we ask your permissions to connect. And now the sacred space of above. We call to all guides and guardians, all archangels, angels, all ascended masters, all dragons, all fairies, all multidimensional beings that support the highest good of all. We call now to your team, your team of guides. I call to my team. We welcome them in and we ask for their blessings on our time together. Coming into your heart space now. I'm gonna clear our space. Normally I do this first, but it felt more important to set the space in our sacred container. I don't smudge. I do energetic and sound healing. So just breathe here. That's what I'm gonna be doing now. Divine love and light, calling out a sacred light relationship healing, sacred light purification, sacred light with bound contract, and sacred light entity clearing as we are all sensitive and energetic and we want to make sure that we are connected together but we don't take on anyone else's stuff we also don't want anything to get in the way of this work today so calling all that in now it's been living like creator change it
Sinking in now, breathing from your heart. Allow your breath to slow. I encourage you now to begin to connect in as you breathe. Visualizing, if you are called, the beautiful interplay of being and nothingness, of light and stillness. The initial relationship and duality of all creation, yin and yang. Begin to notice and then begin to breathe this in. This is pure primal source energy. We acknowledge the beautiful dance and the beautiful balance that is our universe, that is all reality. And as you breathe, invite that energy to fill you at your heart, creating this beautiful ball of primal source energy at your center. And when you're ready, allowing this energy to shoot a grounding cord down through you, out through your feet, through the very layers of the mother, of this land that you are sitting on, through her wisdom, down like the roots of a tree, through all of the layers of the earth, down to her golden crystalline core at the heart of Gaia, and anchoring, rooting in here. When you're ready, welcoming the beautiful, nourishing, golden light of Gaia to flow up through your roots, up through that cord, filling your entire being, filling your root, your sacral, your navel, expanding your heart, flowing up through your throat, your third eye, your crown, out through the top of your head, shooting this beautiful branching, arcing up through all reality, extending as a true representation of the tree of life, reaching your branches up higher and higher out through all reality, and reaching to the very point of oneness, pure primal source energy, and allowing this beautiful energy to then flow through you back down as the sun flows and nourishes the trees through your branches, down through your head and meeting at your heart, joining with the beautiful golden light of Gaia and your own heart. And in this connected and balanced space, we now call to our higher self, our divine I am presence, and welcome them in. If you're called, you can invite a merger. You are your higher self. But if that doesn't call to you today, knowing and understanding that everything you see, feel, is perfect and right for you now. Inviting this energy in and feeling that beautiful, rooted and expansive space in our sacred sphere and container of all reality, of all essence. I'm gonna call in now our special alignments and our little mini healing today. So I'm going to be calling in, look at my notes here. So I'm going to call in the Sacred Soul Alignment Wide Awake. Those of you who are familiar with Sacred Soul Alignment, created by Alicia. This one will help you actually awaken to really connect to your guide. So we're going to be setting it with that intention that you are now wide awake. Your eyes are open in all aspects. And we're gonna be supporting that as well with Queen Anne's Lace. That plant invited, or uh, didn't invite, but came to me to join in the ceremony. And Queen Anne's Lace supports us in psychic development. Excuse me. And I'm gonna bring in 
apophyllite. The crystals really support and connect to the higher realms. Angelic realms, guides, and guardians. So really just bringing in that beautiful, pure energy. So I'm gonna actually bring them all in together. Well, I'll bring the crystal and the wide awake in together and then support that with the queens and lace. They find the plants like to come in on their own. <laughs> They're like, I came to you. I wanna have my own time. <laughs> so breathing into your heart, feeling that rooted connection and that expansive being in the divine living light. I'm gonna call in now wide awake and apophyllite. Create our changes. awakening every cell of your being to the whispers and the wisdom of all beings and spirits that support your highest good and are here to guide you on your journey. Welcome in with permission, the beautiful healing energy of Queen's Anne's Lace to support us in this awakening to our psychic and guidance from beyond. With humble gratitude, we invite you in now. Just pause here a minute in stillness. We're often going so much that we don't pause to hear the whisper of the wind and the trees, the guidance from our own higher self and our team, the gentle and subtle nudge of spirit and our own intuition. Just take a few moments in this deeply connected and expansive state to listen, to present yourself humbly to the field and to hear whatever or feel or know or see whatever message you are being given today. Anchor all this in so the energy can continue to clear and run. Be aware for the next especially 24 to 48 hours of any signs, messages, or guidance you may hear. So anchoring this into our heart and our higher hearts, our minds and our higher minds, our root, our root sun. The fifth dimensional grid system, Gaia, the 12 dimensional grid system of the universe. Light, anchoring that in now. We give gratitude to the land, to the original wisdom keepers, to the earth, air, fire, and water, and all guides and guardians, 
that support the highest good of all of these elements to our lineage, our roots, our ancestors, to all guides and guardians of higher realms, ascended masters, our team. We give gratitude. We give gratitude to ourselves for showing up and for being open. Take a deep breath when you're ready. And exhale. Pull my glasses back on. Oh, hello, tree friend. How is everyone doing out there? 